All right, so today I'm gonna to be making some homemade bread for my family. So some things you need are some bread flour, definitely bread flour, not all purpose, makes a difference. Some sugar, salt, milk powder, yeast, any type of oil, you can use butter, whatever. I'm using this today. So I'm using my mixer, but you can do this by hand um, if you want. I'm gonna use my mixer. All right, so we're gonna start with putting our warm water in our bowl. So we're gonna be doing two teaspoons of yeast, two tablespoons of sugar or honey or whatever kind of sweetener you want. Just going to lift this up and then mix this a little. Oh wait, let me plug it in. All right, that's better. So we'll plug that in. And then now we're gonna do four cups of bread flour. Now I'm gonna do two tablespoons of milk powder. One teaspoon of salt. Let's see if I can get this out of here. It's all old and clumped up. Got a teaspoon of salt. And then two tablespoons of your favorite oil. Um, I'm using grapeseed oil today, but you can use olive oil, canola oil, vegetable oil, you can use butter, whatever oil you want to use. And that's all of our ingredients. We're just going to mix this up and let it mix until it's combined and then knead it for about uh, five minutes. So it is done kneading. It is not sticky, but it's very soft. So it's it's good and ready to go. So what I'm going to do now is just cover it with a little bit of this oil. Like I said, you can use whatever oil you have or butter or something. It's a little just to coat it in the bowl. And then I like to just use some plastic wrap. I already um, measured it out. Just gonna cover it with a little plastic wrap. And you can let it sit in a warm spot um, for an hour. If you don't have a warm spot in your house, you can boil some water, put it in a bowl, and put this in your microwave. I do that a lot um, to help it rise faster, which is what I'll probably do. Um, boil some water, put it in a little bowl, put it in the corner of your microwave, and then put this in the microwave just like that and then it'll have a perfect warmth in there. So I'll be back in an hour. So here's my bread, it's been an hour. And this is what it looks like. I'm just gonna punch it down and then take it out. Move this out of the way. And I'm just gonna kind of shape it a little, flatten it out. Um, I'm gonna be using this Pullman, oops, this Pullman loaf pan today. Um, I had greased it with some shortening or whatever, so I'm gonna be using this. I'm not gonna use the the lid because I want like a dome. I want a dome or whatever you wanna call it. I like that, so I'm just gonna flatten this out, and then. Just roll it up. Oops. Just roll it really easy. And then I just pinch the bottom to, um, and then you could just like push the sides in if you want, like that. But that's basically it. 
And then, so what the top looks like, so I'm gonna take my Pullman pan, just gonna set it in there. And then, oops, that's my timer. Um, I'm just gonna try to make it fit in here. Make it a little more even. And that's it. I'm gonna just use this same plastic wrap that I had used earlier. Let's see if it's long enough. It should be, hopefully. Well, anyway, I'm gonna to try to make it work. I'm just gonna leave it like this. So it should be good. I'm just gonna let this rise for um, 30 more minutes. My bread has risen. It's been 30 minutes, so I'm just gonna pop this in the oven at 350 for um, 30 minutes. So this is it, you guys. I just took this bread out of the oven and it is smelling so, so good.